Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video on how I've been driving around with one arm because my right clavicle's broken. I mean, I can hold my phone up if it's like really close to my body, but I can't really reach my arm out and then, um, yeah, and then drive using it. So what I do is I drive using my left arm. I mean, I'm left-handed and most of the time I drive with one hand anyways. Um, but anyways, once I get to my parking spot, I'll show you how I kind of like start the car and um, pull the driving stock and how I do kind of like sharper turns. So we'll get there in a bit. Uh, when I get to the first like tight turn, I will be back. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so we're getting to the first sharp turn. Um, I always do the shift stick with one hand anyways most people don't even shift their or put the turn signals <laughs> so even with one hand i kind of drive better than people that use two hands so i signal all right we're gonna turn right here so i'll show you once all these cars get out of the way how i make a sharp turn for all these cars Oh, that car see there's a truck there it didn't signal so I waited for nothing okay so here's how I turn sharp and this isn't even that sharp of a turn so normally I can do much sharper turns so when I get oh there's too many cars coming into the lane I want to go into okay. when we get to the part where I have to u-turn then I guess you guys will see even with one hand like I signal way better than anybody else I don't know most people they, they use their signal kind of for selfish reasons signaling is to let people know that you're going in um, but most people will use their signal more to say let me in but like if, if there's no room they'll signal to try and get in but if it's to let other people know they're turning, a lot of people don't use it and it's kind of annoying, but yeah. No, you guys should know, the signal, turn signal is not for you, it's for other drivers. So, yeah. Most people kind of don't really think about that or they just don't care. <laughs> Anyways, once we start the U-turn, I will continue recording. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so we're turning now. So here you, you can see how you do a U-turn. Same as the regular turn, but... So even like sharper U-turns in parking lots, I can do unlimited like spins. It's so much easier. I, I never drive with two hands to do that. It's kind of, right? So I'm gonna show now how I kind of like park or start the car, if I can find a parking spot. Uh, I think that's one. All right. All right. Just like this. Okay. All right. And then the way I park. So I just angle the steering wheel like this. So that way there's a giant hole here. Because normally if it's not, then I have to kind of reach around. And that hurts my cla right clavicle as well. So I do. Now this thing is very easy. I just push it up like that. This, um, the stock is kind of nice, so when you pull, this is how most cars are, even the ones that aren't shaped like this. Um, they're designed so where if you pull once, it goes to reverse. You don't have to push this button, and then usually you can like pull it into neutral and into drive. And then you can go back into neutral without pushing this button. And that's to prevent you from like accidentally going into reverse or accidentally going into the B or two or whatever, or whichever you have but anyways that's how i park it and then i just twist the key like that it's easy to pull it out all right and same thing when i start the car just that's why i turn the wheel like this it makes it a lot easier with one hand but yeah that's how i've been driving with one hand hopefully this video was kind of nice to watch or helpful to some people that also have a broken arm or something if your right arm is okay it's probably easier at least to start the car and shift the car. Um, 
but then as far as using the signal i'd understand if you have issues doing that with just your right arm because it's harder to reach over with your right arm i mean i've had issues i've had cases where my left arm was like tired or hurting because i do like long drive sometimes and you can still shift um not shift but signal with your right arm it's just a little more difficult but yeah if there's no other drivers around that's usually when i won't use my shifter at all um, but in most cases i use it just in case there's a car waiting and they feel like um, if you're shifting or signaling showing that you're going to turn left or something then cars will know they can just run through instead of waiting for you to turn things like that so it's always nice use your signals guys all right i'll see you guys in another video bye